Hello and welcome to ICSE class 10 physics tutorial. The topic is work, power and energy. Continued part two. Before we start, I have a share ki kuch lines on a tongue. Share kata hai. Harik baat wo be asar bolte hai. Harik baat wo be asar bolte hai. Salika nahi hai magar bolte hai. Salika nahi hai magar bolte hai. Suna hai unhe bhi nawaza gaya hai. Suna hai unhe bhi nawaza gaya hai. Wo jo zeb ko bhi zabar bolte hai. वो जो जेर को भी जबर बोलते हैं जो कमजोर को भी तवानाई बख्शे जो कमजोर को भी तवानाई बख्शे तवानाई स्ट्रेंथ जो कमजोर को भी तवानाई बख्शे उसी हौसले को जिगर बोलते हैं उसी हौसले को जिगर बोलते हैं फराज अपने दामन कुन से बचाना फराज अपने दामन कुन से बचाना इधर की जो सुनकर उधर बोलते हैं इधर की जो सुनकर उधर बोलते हैं थैंक यू ओके सो इन दैट कंटिन्यूएशन इन पार्ट टू द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज डिस्कस W इज इक्वल टू एफ एस कॉस थीटा फॉर्मूला वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिराइव इन पार्ट वन now today we are going to discuss W is equal to Fs cos theta special cases. For example, when theta is equal to zero, what happens? When theta is equal to 90 degree, when theta is equal to 180 degree. A very, very, very interesting case, 180 degree, theta is equal to 180 degree. Okay, so the first case is when theta is equal to zero. But let, let's see uh, uh, W is equal to Fs cos theta, what happens? So, if theta is equal to 0 degree, our formula is W is equal to Fs cos theta. So, W is equal to Fs cos theta. Theta we are taking 0. So, we are substituting in place of theta as 0. So, F into, I have written into. Like this also you can write down. I have told you in my uh, part 1 video. So, F into, Fs means F into S. So f into s into cos and theta is 0. So cos 0. Now what is the value of cos 0? This you know from your mathematics. Alright, even in physics also. So cos 0 is sin 90 if you forget. Cos 0 and sin 90 the values are equal. So cos 0 is 1. So we are putting in place of cos 0 as 1. So then we get f as it is into as it is s as it is into cos 0 is 1. So f into s into 1 gives you fs. So we get w, w is equal to fs, w is equal to fs. Alright, the basic formula, original formula, right? The definition w is equal to fs. There also, you know, now why are we getting w is equal to fs? Because we, are, we, are, we say that theta is 0. That means, that means the, the angle, suppose this is, you, this is force and this is displacement. Alright, and, 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 and suppose the angle is 60 degree. But, but we are taking the case, special case, when theta is 0. So theta is 0, uh, gradually the value is decreasing. The value of theta is decreasing. 60, okay, 45, 40, 30, 20, okay, 15, 10, 5, 0. 
what does it mean please try to understand if you understand and then so many things you can write down on your own so this is displacement and this is force both are now in the same direction when theta is zero and when they are in the same direction we we obtain the formula w is equal to fs the same w we are getting fs w is equal to fs all right so w is equal to fs when both are in the same direction when the force and, and the displacement they both are in the same direction when the displacement is in the direction of the force applied that is when theta is zero theta is 90 gradually the value is decreasing and now theta is zero that means both are parallel both are parallel both are parallel and theta is zero both are in the same direction and we are getting the uh, uh, original formula basic formula huh? when we we define the amount of work done we found out no? we obtain w is equal to fs so w is equal to fs we got this is the first case special case when theta is zero now the second case is when theta is 90 degree this is your displacement the body is moving along this direction and the force is applied normally theta is 90 degrees so what happens let's see w is equal to f you write down like this i have shown all these steps here i'm not showing all these steps here you please do it so write down first w is equal to fs cos theta and then write down is equal to f into s into cos 90 in place of theta now you put 90 cos 90 which that step i have not written now cos 90 and the value of sin 0 both are same cos 90 is 0 and sin 0 is also 0 so f s cos 90 here you put 90 and write down here now when you write cos 90 the value of cos 90 is 0 then you have to write down here 0 because our case in our case theta is 90 so cos 90 will be 0 so f s here, here you are writing w is equal to f s cos 90 so f s cos 90 means 0 now 0 multiplied by f into s is 0 so the every uh, entire thing, whole thing we are getting zero. So W is equal to zero. Work done is zero. No work is done in this case when theta is 90 degree. That means when the force is perpendicular to the direction of the displacement. When the displacement is perpendicular to the direction of the force. When theta is equal to 90 degree, no work is done. W is equal to zero. And very uh, nice questions will be uh, framed, the uh, MCQs. Uh, on this topic ah, that I'll, I'll discuss in my next video the third special case is when theta is equal to 180 degree again write down the formula first write down if theta is equal to 180 degree then write down the formula first we know that since whatever beautifully write down and then write down w is equal to fs cos 180 degree first write down w is equal to fs cos theta and then write down w is equal to fs cos in place of theta 180 degree all right now, one more step we write down here in between, write down is equal to f into s into cos 180 is minus 1. Please remember this value. This will help you even in mathematics also. Cos 180, 180 means pi. So cos pi is minus 1 and sin pi is 0. Remember both. Sin pi is 0, sin 180 is 0, cos 180 is minus 1. So when you write down here minus 1 that I have not written, you please write down. So minus 1 into f into s is minus fs. So w is equal to minus fs. A very interesting result. I'll give you the example also. I'll give you examples uh, on, on all these uh, uh, three special cases in my next video. All right. So right now till here only w is equal to fs minus fs. When theta is equal to 180 degree, 180 degree we get w is equal to minus fs. Okay, so these are the three special uh, cases. I hope uh, uh, things are clear. Uh, examples for this, this, and this, I will give you in my next video. The next question, a very simple question that I have taken is what are the conditions for the work done W to be zero? What are the conditions for the work done by a force to be zero? All right. So these are the two conditions when s equal to 0. See, where is the formula? The formula is here. W is equal to fs cos theta. Now if s is 0, if s is 0, 0 multiplied by f multiplied by cos theta, everything 0. So that is the first condition. One of the first conditions that the displacement should be 0. You are applying force and no work is done. W is 0. These are the two cases when there is no displacement, that is s equal to 0, s equal to 0, or when theta is equal to 90 degree. That means, that means this case, 
theta is equal to 90 degree. This case, theta is equal to 90 degree when the displacement and the force they are perpendicular to each other. The angle is 90 degree. All right, so these are the two conditions, important conditions. First, when the displacement is zero, so S is equal to zero, and when the uh, force is perpendicular to the direction of the displacement, theta equal to 90 degree. All right, remember these two, S equal to zero, theta equal to, is equal to 90 degree, and then you can write down in your own words. All right, so when S equal to zero, when S equal to zero, W is zero. When theta is equal to 90 degrees, then also W is equal to zero. Fine. Now, now I, I'm, uh, I want to ask a question. If, see, see once again, see. When S is zero, W is zero. One kind, first condition. Second condition, when theta, theta is equal to 90 degree, again W is equal to zero. Now, my question to you is, if W is equal to zero, then can we say that the force is perpendicular to the direction of the displacement. Can you say that? Think about it. And we will discuss that in my next video. Okay, so hope everything is very, very clear. Okay then, thank you so much. Thanks.